டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் கே கண்ணன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அஞ்சலி அம்மாள் மகாலிங்கம் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் கோயில் பண்ணி வெல்கம் பேக் டு தி ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் தி ஸ்டீம் நாசில் ப்ராப்ளம் நம்பர் சிக்ஸ்டீன் ஃப்ரம் மே டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர்டீன் கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் த ஃப்ளோரேட் ஃப்ளோரேட் த்ரூ ஸ்டீம் நாசில் வித் ஐசன்ட்ராபிக் ஃப்ளோ ஃப்ரம் எ ப்ரெஷர் ஆஃப் தேர்ட்டின் பார் வாஸ் ஃபவுண்ட் டு பி சிக்ஸ்டீன் கிலோகிராம்ஸ் பர் மினிட் steam is initially saturated determine the throat area if the flow is super saturated determine increase in flow rate so the given data pressure p1 equal to 13 bar and it is dry saturated steam the mass flow rate is 60 kg per minute which is 1 kg per second for dry saturated steam polytropic index n equal to 1.135 the throat pressure for the maximum mass flow rate the throat pressure p2 by p1 equal to 2 by n plus 1 to the power n by n minus 1 substituting for the polytropic index 2 by 1.135 plus 1 to the power 1.135 divided by 1.135 minus 1 equal to 0.5774 so the pressure p2 the pressure the throat section p2 equal to 0.5774 into 13 equal to 7.5 bar from steam table at the pressure p1 equal to 13 bar dry saturated steam h1 equal to 2785.4 kJ per kg and v1 equal to 0.15114 metric cube per kg now for the ma- maximum mass flow rate through the nozzle throat area we have to calculate throat area m by a maximum equal to square root of 2 by n plus 1 p1 by v1 into 2 by n plus 1 to the power 2 by n minus 1 substituting mass flow rate equal to 1 kg per second divided by area equal to square root of 2 into 1.135 divided by 1.135 plus 1 into 13 into 10 power 5 to convert pressure bar into kilo, uh, bar into newton per meter square divided by 0.15114 into 2 by 1.135 plus 1 to the power 2 by 1.135 minus 1 which is 1864.37 so the area equal to 1 by 1864.37 meter square This is equal to 5.3 in 10 power minus 4 meter square. If the flow is super saturated, then the specific volume of the steam for the super saturated flow, P2 equal to 7.5 bar. We, the, specific, the steam will continue as a dry saturated steam in the super saturated region. So the V2 specific volume V2 equal to Vg2, which is 0.25547 meter cube per kilogram. So this data is taken from the steam table for pressure P2 equal to 7.5 bar. Now, the velocity of the steam at the end of the expansion, V2 equal to square root of 2 by n minus 1, P1, V1 into 1 minus P2 by P1 to the power n minus 1 by n. And this equation for the super saturated flow. Substituting V2 equal to square root of 2 into 1.135 divided by 1.135 minus 1 into 13 into 10 power 5 into 0.15114 into 1 minus 7.5 divided by 13 to the power 1.135 Minus 1 divided by 1.135. The velocity V2, calculating the velocity V2 equal to 498.78 meters per second. Then the mass flow rate M equal to A2 V2 by small V2. So, 5.36 in 10 power minus 4. Area is the uh, 5.36 in 10 power minus 4. Earlier we have calculated 4.98 into 0.78 divided by 0.25547. This is 1.046 kilograms per second. So, the, for super saturated flow, the mass flow rate equal to 1.046 kg per second. Now, increase in the flow rate equal to 1.046 minus 1 equal to 0.046 kg per second. So, the answer to the question, throat area equal to 5.36 in 10 power minus 4 meter square and the increase in mass flow rate equal to 0.046 kg per second. Next example number 17. In an installation, 5.2 kg per steam of uh, kilo, kilograms per second of steam at 30 bar and 34 degrees Celsius is supplied to a group of six nozzle in a wheel diameter maintained at 4 bar. Determine one the dimensions of the nozzle of rectangular cross-sectional sectional flow area with aspect ratio 3 is to 1. The expansion may be considered as metastable with the friction is neglected. Number 2 degree of undercooling and super saturation 3 loss in available heat drop due to the irreversibility 4 uh, increase in entropy and 5 ratio of mass flow rate with the metastable expansion to that if the expansion is in isothermal in, in thermal equilibrium 
and this is from two university this uh, question appear in two university examination november 2010 and may 2013 so the given data mass equal to 5.2 kg per second pressure p1 equal to 30 bar t1 equal to 350 degree celsius and p2 pressure p2 equal to 4 bar from steam table at a p1 equal to 30 bar and t1 equal to 350 degree celsius for superheated steam specific enthalpy of the steam h1 equal to 3117.5 kJ per kilogram specific volume of the steam v1 equal to 0 0.09053 meter cube per kilogram and specific entropy of the steam s1 equal to 6.747 kJ per kilogram kelvin so all the three values are taken from superheated table for the given inlet condition the velocity of the steam at the end of supersaturated expansion for n equal to 1.3 for superheated steam v2 equal to square root of 2 n by n minus 1 p1 v1 into 1 minus p2 by p1 to the power n minus 1 by n substituting v2 equal to square root of 2 into 1.3 divided by 1.3 minus 1 into 30 into 10 to the power 5 into 0 0.09053 multiplied by 1 minus 4 by 30 to the power 1.3 minus 1 divided by 1.3 calculating the velocity is v2 equal to 935.7 meters per second specific volume of the steam uh, v2 equal to v1 into p1 by p2 to the power 1 by n so 0 0.09053 into 30 by 4 to the power 1 by 1 1.3 equal to 0 0.4263 meter cube per kilogram then area for the flow a2 equal to m into small v2 divided by capital v2 so mass equal to 5.2 given in the problem into 0 0.4263 divided by 935.7 equal to 2.369 into 10 power minus 3 meter square. Dimensions of rectangular nozzle for aspect ratio 3 is to 1. A2 equal to 6 into 3x into x. So 3x is the length of the nozzle, 3x is the width of the nozzle for aspect ratio 3 is to 1. So equal to 18x square. So 2.369 10 power minus 3 equal to 18x square. So, x equal to square root of 2.369 10 power minus 3 divided by 18 equal to 0 0.0114 meter. So, width of the nozzle equal to 0 0.0114 meter which is 11.4 millimeter and length of the nozzle equal to 0 0.04342 meter which is 34.2 millimeter. The degree of undercooling and supersaturation. To calculate the degree of undercooling and supersaturation, temperature at the end of supersaturated flow. So T2 equal to T1 into P2 by P1 to the power n minus 1 by n. Substituting T2 equal to 350 plus 273 multiplied by 4 by 30 to the power 1.3 minus 1 divided by 1.3, which is 391.2 Kelvin, 118.2 degree Celsius. From steam table, the saturation temperature at P2 equal to 4 bar, which is 143.6 degree Celsius, the saturation pressure at 118.1 degree Celsius, PS equal to 1.89 bar. The degree of undercooling equal to the temperature difference 143.6 minus 118.2 equal to 25.4 degree Celsius and degree of supersaturation equal to 4 by 1.189, the pressure, actual pressure at the exit divided by the pressure, uh, saturation pressure at the exit temperature 1.189 equal to 2.1. From steam table at the P2 equal to 4 bar, Vg2 equal to 0 0.4622 meter cube per kilogram, HF2 equal to 604.7 kJ per kilogram, HF2 equal to 2132.9, SF2 equal to 1.776 and SF2 equal to 5.118 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. The dryness fraction of the steam at the exit for isentropic flow, S1 equal to S2, S1 equal to SF2 plus X2 into SFG2. So, substituting numerical value 6.747 equal to 1.776 plus X2 into 5.118. So, calculating X2 equal to 0 0.97. The properties of the steam at the exit H2 equal to HF2 plus X2 into HFG2. 604.7 plus 0 0.97 into 2132.9 equal to 2673.6 kJ per kilogram. And V2 equal to X2 into VG2, 0.97 into 0 0.4622 equal to 0.4483 meter cube per kilogram. The enthalpy drop in the nozzle for isentropic flow, so 3117.5 minus 2673.6 equal to 443.9 kilojoules per kilogram. And the exit velocity, V2 equal to square root of 2 into H1 minus H2, so square root of 2 into 443.9 into 1000 equal to 942.23 meters per second. 
then enthalpy drop in the super saturated flow h1 minus h2 equal to n by n minus 1 p1 v1 into 1 minus p2 by p1 to the power 2 n minus 1 by n so substitute numerical values h1 minus h2 equal to 1.3 divided by 1.3 minus 1 into 30 into 10 power 5 into 0 0.09053 into 1 minus 4 by 30 to the power 1.3 minus 1 divided by 1.3 so h1 minus h2 equal to 437.8 kilojoules per kilogram the loss of enthalpy equal to 443.9 minus 437.8 equal to 6.1 kilojoules per kilogram. The increase in entropy, this is delta H divided by the temperature. So, 6.1 divided by 443.6 plus 273 equal to 0 0.0146 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. The mass flow rate for the isentropic flow, M equal to A2 V2 by small V2. So, 2.369 into 10 power minus 3 into 942.23 divided by 0 0.4483 which is 4.98 kilograms per second. The ratio of mass flow rate, mass flow rate for the super saturated flow divided by mass flow rate for the isentropic flow 5.2 divided by 4.98 equal to 1.044. So, these are all the answers to the problem. So, the various questions, the first question the dimension of the nozzle. So, dimension of the nozzle is calculated. So, here uh, the Length of the nozzle equal to 34.2 millimeter, uh, width of the nozzle equal to 11.4 millimeter, and the degree of super saturation, degree of undercooling is 25.4 degrees Celsius, degree of super saturation is 2.1, and your uh, the enthalpy drop is 443.9, and we have the uh, increase in entropy equal to 0 0.0146 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And ratio of the mass flow rate equal to 1.044. So, these are all the answers to the question. So, we stop here. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. If you have any queries, contact me. We will meet again with another video lecture in this subject. Until then, bye.